Hi everyone, so I'm glad to announce to you guys that a new chat application is now ready on the channel. Remember last year I built a chat application, a real-time chat app last year instead. So I got some complaints saying that the chat app needed more features. It was no, it was not really working fine. So I heard your complaints and I decided to build a new chat application. So this is real time. This has more features. So I'm going to show you how everything works. So right now we have two users logged in. We have Ramos. We have me. So we have two devices. So we have two devices. So right now I'm using, I'm using two different browsers to simulate two different devices. You get so right now currently on this browser. This, right now I'm currently on the Firefox and also on the Chrome browser. So on the Firefox browser, we are. I have Ramos logged in. On the Chrome browser, I have me logged in. So, so these two guys are friends. You can see. So this this is me. You can see we have okay so currently they are not friends these two guys are not friends they are not this is nay this is Remo. if you check closely you will not see nay on this page on you will see nay on Remo's page and if you check on nay's page you won't see Remo. so they are not friends so right now i'm going to simply show right now Remo is going to send me a friend request so once i click on this click on this add friend icon so Remo is going to send me a friend request now so i'm going to simply say this is okay right now we have nay here can see the, you can see the profile picture is the same thing. Look at me, look at me. The pictures are the same. That's the that this are, you can see. So right now, Remus wants to send me a friend with Christmas. Let me see, add friend. So once it clicks on this, so, okay, the request has been sent. Instead, so if we check closely now, Nay just got a new notification. So I'm going to open, I'm going to open it right now. And, so, and right now, I can see Remus. Remus just sent me a friend request and once Nay confirms this, Remus and Nay becomes friends. Once Nay con once Nay, this is Nay here. Yeah. Once he confirms this friend request he received, Remus and Nay becomes friends. So I'm gonna confirm. It has been confirmed now. So if I go back to the home page now, you find that you can see we have Remus over here. That's said that Remus and Nay are now friends. If I click back here on Remus page, if I click here. You can see Ramos got a new he got a new notification. And if you check closely, Nay is now a friend of Ramos. You understand? So if I click on this, open this, you can see Ramos got a new notification and it says, I Nay accepted your friend request. And this happened 20 seconds ago. Hope you get so I open this now. Nay and Ramos can chat. They can both chat now. You understand? So if I open this. So I'm going to open for Nay. You can see your chat history is empty. Open for Remus is both empty. So currently, Remus is logged in here. Nay is logged in here. So I'm going to see me just say, Hi, Nay. Hi, Nay. Once I click on send, you can see it appears here. It appears on Remus's page without having to reload the page. Instead, so I Nay. So Nay is going to simply reply and say, Remus, I'm fine. Remus. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Once I click on send, you can see it got here, and Nay also received it without having to load the page. You understand? So Remus could just say, "That's good to hear. That is good to hear. That is good to hear." When I just click on send here, you understand? So they both receive it, and this happens real time. You don't have to reload the page. Yes, then you don't have to load the page in the stand. So these are the so you can come over here, you can log out the user, you can create new users in the stand. So right now I can I could log out this I could log out Ramos, I could sign up a new user, I could create a new user over here, register, understand, or I could decide to log in if I already have a user. I'm gonna log in as car right now. I'm gonna simply log in as Mike. Log in as Mike now and click on login. Oh, invalid credentials. Let me just say Mike. I think I use a different password for Mike. So log in. Hope this works. Okay, Mike is logged in. So if you check closely, Mike has no friends. So I'm going to log out me and log in a different user. I'm going to log in. Let me just say, um, let me just say CL7. That's Ronaldo. I just say so I'm logging someone else. So currently, 
Mike and CR7 are both logged in. And we'll check closely, they are not friends here. Yeah? They are not friends here. Yeah? I could come over here. Mike is going to send CR7 a friend request. So this is CR7 over here. I'm sending him a friend request right now. Send. It has been sent. And you can see here, CR7 just received a friend request. You can, so once he checks that, you can see Mike sent CR7 a friend request. So once CR7 accepts this, Mike and CR7 becomes friends. So confirm. It's confirmed now. They are both friends. If I come over to the home page, you can see now Mike and CR7 are now friends. If I come over to the home page on Mike's device, you can see Mike has a new message. Click on it. If I click on it, it says hi. CR7 accepted your friend request. If I click on the click on the oh Mike, you can see now Mike and CR7 are now friends. Let me check what we have here. Oh, Carl sent Clint Carl sent Mike a friend. Kai's cow sent Mike a friend request. So currently, Mike has not accepted it yet. So once Mike accepts, Mike and Cow becomes friends. But right now, Cow is not logged in. You get so I'm going to confirm. See, I've been confirmed now. Mike and Cow are now friends. You get so that's nice. So you can see now we have this now. They can both chat. Mike, so right now, so Mike and CR7 are about to have a, about to have a conversation. Hope you get so you could just say hi Ronaldo, hi Ronaldo. That's CR7. So send. So you can see the comments here. You just say I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. When I click on send, you can see both appears. I don't have to load the page. This is a bit with Django. Hope you get so. But one thing is this now. This this was bit with Django with some little JavaScript. You can see this is your last. So right now it's between CR7 and Mike. This is your last conversation. I am fine, thank you. And staying over here, the same thing. I am fine, thank you. Hope you get, you get. So that's just it. That's it. It's simple. There's not much else to there. So, but one thing is this: the source code is not free. It's gonna be paid for. It's gonna be paid for. It's a little amount. It's a little fee. You get. So, if you are outside of Nigeria, you're gonna pay six dollars for the source code. You understand? If you're outside Nigeria. You're going to pay six dollars but if you're in nigeria you're going to simply pay three thousand five hundred for the source code it's as simple as that in this time so the source code is hosted on seller seller.school you understand that way that's where the source code you you find the source code is hosted on it's, it is hosted on seller you understand so the reason why i'm doing this is for you guys to support the channel you understand so but you put you you buy the source code is a way for you to support myself on this channel for us to make more quality tutorials for you guys hope you understood so that is it now so you can explore so right now get a source code the series starts this week so for you not to miss out on this series it's better you get a source code so you can follow along with me speedily understand so i also have this so currently these designs you see these front end files you are seeing here uh, I have everything attached in the source code separately. So I'm going to show you how the source code looks like now. So right, this, right now, this is the source code. Let me zoom this in. This is how the source code looks like. So I'm going to zoom it in. So we have our normal Django files, which you see all, all around here. We have our normal Django files there. And this is the front end files. This folder only holds the front end. And these are, these are the, so right now, this, 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 these are the templates. The standalone templates in the stand is also in the source code you get. So and over here we have the normal Django, the normal Django files and mix up the entire project. And we also have a separate folder for our templates. Open us to so get the source code. It's cheap for you guys. It's cheap. I made I made it so cheap so that you guys can easily afford it. So you understand? So the series starts this week. So I'm so I'm looking forward to it. I also hope you are also looking forward to the series. It's gonna be exciting on this channel. So if you're new, if you're new here, if you're new to Django, don't worry. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna start from the. I'm gonna start from scratch. Up, explain everything to you step by step. So you don't want to miss out on this tutorial series. It's gonna be exciting. Do want to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and don't forget to purchase the source code so you can follow along easily. Thank you for watching. We will see. So you're going to see you again in the next episode. So stay blessed and bye-bye.